Stella, cold, cold, the coldness of hell. How they walked on the roads together, Rosa with Magda, curled up between sore breasts. Magda wound up in the shawl. Sometimes Stella carried Magda, but she was jealous of Magda, a thin girl of fourteen. Too small with thin breasts of her own, Stella wanted to be wrapped in a shawl, hidden away, asleep, rocked by the march, a baby, a round infant in arms. Magda took Rosa's nipple, and Rosa never stopped walking, a walking cradle. There was not enough milk. Sometimes Magda sucked air. Then she screamed. Stella was ravenous. Her knees were tumors on sticks. Her elbows, chicken bones. Rosa knew Magda was going to die very soon. She should have been dead already, but she had been buried away deep inside the magic shawl. Mistaken there for the shivering mound of Rosa's breasts, Rosa clung to the shawl as if it covered only herself. No one took it away from her. Magna was mute. She never cried. Rosa hid her in the barracks under the shawl. But she knew that one day someone would inform, or one day someone, not even Stella, would steal Magda to eat her. When Magda began to walk, Rosa knew that Magda was going to die very soon. Something would happen. She was afraid to fall asleep. She slept with the weight of her thigh on Magda's body. She was afraid she would smother Magda under her thigh. The weight of Rosa was becoming less and less. Rosa and Stella were slowly turning into air.